بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أيها الأحباب الله سبحانه وتعالى commands us to enjoin good and forbid evil and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us with Iman. And Iman, ayyul ahbab, or faith, in Islam is comprised of three. Iman is compi- comprised of belief in the heart, which is the origin of Iman, statements of the tongue, and actions of the limbs. All of those things comprise Iman in Islam. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala orders us with Iman and to walk straight or be steadfast to practice that which we claim to believe. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Verily those who say our Rub our Rub is Allah, meaning our Lord is Allah. And thereafter stand firm and straight. On them shall be no fear, nor shall they grieve. Such shall be the dwellers of Jannah, abiding therein forever, a reward for what they used to do. And in the hadith, one Abi Amr, Wakil Abi Umrah, Sufyan ibn Abdullah radiyallahu ta'ala anhu qal Qultu ya Rasulullah Qul li fil Islam qawlin la as'alu anhu ahadin ghayrak Qal Qul amintu billahi thumma istaqam Ruahu Muslim In the hadith of Sufyan ibn Abdullah radiyallahu ta'ala anhu he said O messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam tell me something in Islam which I cannot ask anyone else about he the prophet alayhi salatu wa said say I believe in Allah and then be steadfast and that was collected in Sahih Muslim. In this hadith, Ayyul Ahbab, it makes clear for us the importance of being steadfast and straight with Iman. And steadfastness means adhering firmly to the injunctions of Islam, to act upon what is ordained and avoid that which is prohibited and to perform dutifully orders in respect of obligations and what is regarded desirable and avoid what is unlawful. So again, this steadfastness is like taqwa al It is implementing the taqwa. Because taqwa, ayyul ahbab, fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is adhering to the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and avoiding his prohibitions. So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when we hear during the khutbah to Hajj, Ya ayu al-nas, attaqu Allah, haqqu taqatihi wa la tumutunna illa wa antum muslimun. Where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, O you mankind, fear Allah. His rightful amount of fear I mean, being fully fearful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Haqqa tuqatihi. And do not die except in a state as believers, as Muslims. وَلَا تُمُتُنَّ إِلَّا وَأَنْتُمْ مُسْلِمُونَ The shahid, or the point here, Ayyul Ahbab, was mentioning the taqwa, and that it is doing the commandments of Allah and avoiding His prohibitions. And this is also what it means to be steadfast. Steadfast, 
upon the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, steadfast upon your, your deen, practicing those things which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants you to practice, seeking Islamic knowledge to help you. Because without knowledge, you don't know what you you won't be able to discern between truth and falsehood. You won't be able to discern between bid'ah and sunnah, shirk wa tawheed. All of that comes with ilm. It comes with knowledge. It comes from studying. It comes from listening to the to the ulama, to the scholars of Islam who know the text, who have broad, in depth knowledge about the text. They know the Kitabillah, they know Sunnah of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and Allah has favored them, and favored them to practice, to have that istiqamah, is to be steadfast. And that's why Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says that the most fearful amongst my slaves is the ulama. Akhshar ibadi al ulama. That they're the most God fearing. They're the ones who fear Allah the most. Why? Because they have the ilm, they have the knowledge, and they practice that knowledge. So, Ayal Ahbab. Istiqama, being steadfast. So the real Iman, as we mentioned, is comprised of those three components we already mentioned. The heart, the tongue, and deeds of the limbs. So faith is not merely an expression of the Shahada. It's not sufficient. The real faith is the one which is coupled with its actual practice because practice of religion is in fact the fruit of faith. It's the fruit of Iman, but it's also the essence of Iman. It's a part of Iman. A tree which does not bear any fruit has no value. Similarly, faith becomes meaningless without practice. Steadfast, steadfastness is the mark of perfect Iman because it's a component of Iman. So, Ayal Ahbab, be straight. And be steadfast and do your best not to waver. And we ask Allah the Almighty to bless us all with ikhlas, with thabat, wa sallallahu wa sallam, ala nabiyyina Muhammad, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.